Hey guys, this is going to be a quick tutorial showing you how to make any layer in Adobe After Effects react to audio. More importantly, you will be able to control the frequencies and the individual parameters to make it so that when the bass hits, the audio reaction happens, or when the snare hits, the audio reaction happens, etc. All of the files will be linked below, so please check that out. Also, subscribe because I will be releasing a tutorial on how to do this audio spectrum circle effect. So if you want or if you are interested in that, definitely subscribe and check that out. I'll also link it below once I get it uploaded. So awesome. Pay attention to the background because this is what we're going to be focusing on. So if you notice, every time the bass hit, the actual background zoomed in so here's a zoom in and you can see that by this red line this red outline bass hits bass hits bass hits etc so i set that up for the bass so let's get started we're just going to start off simple by go to file new new project now in this project window you're going to click this button down here to create a new composition or go to composition new composition name this whatever you want i'm going to name it audio react 1920 by 1080 30 frame rate full 20 seconds long because that's how long our song is background color black if i'm going too fast pause the video i like going fast sorry guys right click down here go to new solid name this bg for background and let's make this a light gray color click ok now go over here to the effects and presets tab and click on ramp and grab this gradient ramp if you don't see that effects and presets tab click on your layer go to effect generate and gradient ramp now we're going to change this ramp shape to radial and this top line you can drag down by this uh, changing the start of the ramp down so we're going to change that guy to the middle or you can simply click and drag that we're going to change the ramp scatter to a hundred to give the background layer some effect and then change the end of the ramp we're going to boost that up so it's like this and once that's boosted up, we're going to swap the colors so it's like a nice little highlight. So this is our background layer. We don't need anything else. Now all we have to do is find our files and drag them in. I'm dragging in an audio file and a logo file. We can just drag that down to the timeline down here to get them both in at once. So now that we have that, we have this basic um, setup going on. Click on our audio layer, which is right here. You can look at the waveform by clicking LL, and that'll show you our waveform. <laughs> But what we want to do is make this logo react to that audio. So simply click on this audio layer and right click, go to keyframe assistant, convert audio to keyframes. So this audio amplitude is actually what we're going to be working with. Um, it basically keyframed all of the audio frequencies, I guess. So go to effects down here, delete the left channel, and also delete the right channel because we're not going to be working with those. Click on this both channels and then click on the slider. Thing. We're going to be dealing with this. This is all the keyframes that it did automatically. You didn't have to do any of that hard work. So once that's selected, go click on this button right here, which is a graph editor. It'll open up this little window that shows you all of these beats, the hits and stuff. So what we're going to do is click this auto zoom graph height button right here, and that'll zoom it to here. Notice how it starts at zero and then it ends at around 50 units. We're going to select on the slider layer again so it highlights everything and drag this top line up so that it expands it out to about 100 units. This will give us more room to work with. So basically what this means is that our top layers are around 100 units and then our, mid, or our snares are around 85 units and our middle of the track is around 70 something like that units. What this is is these top layers are actually your bass hits because that's when the this, this sound's the strongest. So it, That'll make more sense later once we start creating this effect. So what you're going to do is hover over here to the left of this slider on this time watch. Click the Alt key and then left click. That'll drop down this effect both channels right here. Highlight that and type in linear left parentheses value comma. So now we're going to type in four values, and these four values are best explained as your first value is your high frequencies, your second values is your low frequencies, and your third and fourth values is the scale that those react to. So our first value is our high frequencies. So this is, what do we want it to react with? Do we want it to react the whole song in the middle, or do we want it just to react with the bass? If we want it to react with just the bass, notice how the basses are at the top, everything is at 99 units, and then the snares are at 85 units. So if we make this... 88 
units for the high frequencies, and then the top frequency is at 104, we're going to change the low bass to 105. So it's high frequency, low frequency. Now, our next code is the scale that we want it to react by. So we're going to change the scale to 100. So that's what it's at originally when the frequency is high at low. It's re really hard to explain, but it'll make sense. And then we're going to change so that when the bass hits, it'll increase the scale by 110%. So let's close that parentheses off and then simply click away. So now we have this slider selected. We want to um, adapt this layer. So pretty much go down and f click these arrows till you get to scale and then you can all click on scale or you can simply click on your layer and type in S for scale. Alt click on that scale button and click on the expression scale and drag this little expression pick whip into the ref re reference to target, drag that to slider. So now that that is dragged to slider, if we watch this song, it should react to the other. So you can change all those parameters, but that is pretty much how you adapt that. If you wanted to make this so it reacts during the whole song, all you have to do is go to your slider expression and change this 88 to one of these mid values, like a 50. So if I change this to 50, anything below or above 50 will be reacted. So let's watch that. So there's more reaction. So play around with this. Thank you guys for watching. I will link a project that you can adapt this to and below so check that out all the files are linked below this is fun i've had a lot of great time with you guys so please check that out stuff out and i'll see you later